Chapman Rader is at the State House for us tonight to tell us what else the governor of Indiana is now recommending to protect all of us. Kevin? Yeah, Scott and Ann, the governor's office, you can see just behind me here, was adamant. It was always a case of not necessarily if, but when. But still, it hit home today, this morning, when the state registered its first casualty in this war against COVID-19. It saddens me to announce that as of earlier this morning, we as a state have lost our first Hoosier uh, to the coronavirus, COVID-19. We have no treatment, we have no vaccine. So it's paramount that we do everything we can to minimize interaction with others. The cases that we have seen recently cannot be traced back to someone who traveled to Italy or to China, or a particular conference that someone attended or being in close contact with a positive case. To those who think that we may be overreacting, uh, I can assure you that we are not. Indiana is under a public health emergency. We are, make no mistake about it, at war with COVID-19. In this case, the victim was over 60 years of age in the high-risk category with health complications. The significant other in this case also stricken with COVID-19, unable to be with their significant other when the person passed today. By the way, in this news conference today, they did not say whether this is a man or a woman, which is why we're only referring to them in generalities. Scott? Yeah, 24 positive cases across Indiana and now one death. Kevin, thank you. I think it's important to note also today during that hour long briefing right. that they indicated that the health care workers really made an extra effort to make sure that that patient was not alone in those final hours. The governor also issuing some new guidance for all of us to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Yeah, the governor's orders do fall in line with the CDC recommendations asking for the cancellation of in-person events with more than 50 people. The governor also asking hospitals and surgery centers to cancel or postpone elective procedures. And we've already seen medical facilities like Ascension St. Vincent, Community Health Network and others already step forward and take these steps. Yeah, the governor also ordered all Indiana restaurants and bars to close dining in. These businesses can still offer drive through and carry out services. Now, if you happen to be in Marion County, the closures that we learned about today are even more far reaching. Yeah, Mayor Jill Hogsett issued today a local disaster emergency and a travel advisory. So this essentially limits the times that you can leave your home unless you're an essential worker. So what does this mean? Well, basically, they don't want you leaving your house unless you're going to get groceries, going to pick up a prescription, or in case you have an emergency. Now, in addition to bars and restaurants, movie theaters, gyms, and fitness facilities have to close as well over the next seven days. And that's just a start. The mayor says in the days to come, he is going to ask the city county council to extend that order to last through at least April 5th. 